Hi, welcome to our company. Like here, we are going to talk about a fantastic topic, this botnet. Before going with the botnet topic, I want to share a great information to you that I'm going to conduct a certified ethical hacking course for almost 100 hours for 20 days. It's almost 10 technologies are there to teach you, like I'm going to teach you. Apart from that, the specialty of the training is like I'm going to give 2D and 3D training to you. It's a purely a online live class I'm going to conduct in two languages. The one is English, the other one is Tamil. English version of the certified ethical hacking it's happening May 25 to June 13 and the Tamil version is in June 1 to June 20 and uh, the registration link is displayed here and you, it will be there in the description you can check it out the timing is flexible if you miss any session the videos are uploaded you can access it anytime and I'll be teaching you live and apart from that the type of training is purely 100% practical with the 800 terminologies 240 topics, 60 sessions, 180 plus hacking tools and two hacking operating system. The one is Kali Linux, the other one is a Parrot operating system. So if you are looking for this kind of training, you can contact me at the contact number which I gave. And apart from that, like uh, if you need any customized date, yes, we are ready to help you. You can contact me at any time. Let's move on to the session. What is botnet? Before going ahead, like um, we are conducting ethical hacking trainings, internships, and projects in our company online and also in offline. So you can come to my office and I'm ready to help you. Here is our website and contact number to contact me. Let's move on to botnet. Botnet is nothing but the bots, an automated program which happened or which is there in the network to do some malicious activity that is called a botnet. Okay, it will do a lot of malicious activity and it's a, it's a tool used by the hackers. The first thing is like, as I told you, like a, it's distributed denial of services. See, your website is doing a service, stop that service, do some process, make it to stop it. That's your denial of services. If it happened from multiple places, that's distributed denial of services. The second one is stealing the data. Stealing the data in the sense like extracting others' information from the computers or maybe from the website. A third thing is like uh, it's nothing but you're spamming your emails, sending lot of emails unwanted like Amazon 10% off or 30% off, that's kind of spamming, spam emails sending. And the final one is in accessing the devices, so accessing your mobile to extract the information, maybe a banking information, your personal data, or your WhatsApp content, everything. That's how these areas are come into one picture called botnet. I'm going to talk about the denial of services. See, I'm sending one request to a person. That's good. I'm sending 10 requests to a person. Not good. I'm sending thousands of requests to a person. It's really worse. Okay, that's how your denial of services. So, if considering your hand is there, I'm giving two people are coming. So, you have something to me. Yes, I can accommodate. 10 people. Oh, it's struggling. 1000 people. You can't do it. So, denial. So, Disturbing their services to do it. That is your denial of services. That is your DOS attacks. Okay. A hacker will send multiples of packets to the server to make it to engage with him so that the other users or genuine users cannot enter. Okay. That's how considering your room is there, lot of unwanted people enter the room. And if it is filled, the one like a needy people, the actual people can't enter because it is filled. That's how your denial of service attacks will happen. So it's because of that lots and lots of websites is going down okay we have to like we should be really careful with this distributed like, denial of services so in advance the hackers will be doing in a different manner by like uh, requesting or by sending the request from multiple locations so considering myself if i'm a typical hacker in that case i'll be sending a request using a proxy service or virtual private network vpns i'll be sending a request to the website from europe a request can be coming from your china a request can be coming from Asia, a request can be coming from Africa, and requests come from South Africa, South America, it's North America. So if from everywhere, I'm the only person sending a lot of requests from different people, different places. So the website owner will think that, oh, I'm getting requests from multiple places. No, it is done by one guy and disturbing you not to serve others. That's why it is called a distributed denial of services attacks. Okay, this is one of the worst attacks. We should be really careful so that like the hackers the hackers will stop our services okay so that like we can't process the actual genuine request okay so this is called a distributed denial of services you are able to see i got a request from europe i got a request from china i got a request from uh, asia i got a request from africa and i got a request from south africa and I, i'm getting so south america and i got a request from north america too 
Okay, so the same users from multiple locations is doing it. This is called distributed denial of services. Considering I got a computer and I got a lot of uh, bots or something like that, I want to check it out. Chatter is one of the Chatter antibot software is one of the fantastic software to check whether you got any problem in your computer. Okay, so in your computer, if it is there, it will be listed down. So you can use it to scan your computers to check it out whether there any bots are available in your computer. And that is another software available, which is an official release of Microsoft as a Microsoft security scanner. In this, this software will like uh, will be like a customized scanning is there, quick scan, complete scan, and also like you are able to customize the scans. So these are the three scans available. So based on the options, you are able to check out like uh, what are the things you want to check it out in your computer to scan for the botting. Okay. So hope you enjoy the session. If you got any doubts, yes, you can contact me via the Instagram one. And second thing is if you need any carry guns or anything you can contact me my phone numbers everything is listed you can contact me and if you love this video please give a like symbol to this video so that it will motivate me thank you this is Venkat signing out from wikitechie and cashew infotech thank you